I'm here at Longridge in Birmingham, home to what was once known as the world's largest car factory. This is Overdrive. How are you planning on regaining the championship this year? Well, I think, I think you know, our arrival with the programme last year, with the Works MGT, um, with the sponsors we brought in Tesco 99 and 99 fuel cakes, energy drink, cash drop, you know, some new sponsors to come, come on board for this year. I think we did uh, we did a, a fantastic job actually, and I think we should be enormously proud of what we achieved. It's very easy in hindsight to look back and go, well, had we not had these you know, six mechanical fair failures, all of those times we had those failures, we would have either won races or been on the podium. If you add all those pop points up, we would have won. You can't, you can't dare think like that. But certainly from the second half of the year, we had the quickest car on the drive. No question. And what we didn't have was we didn't have a car which was easy to drive, we didn't have a car which was consistent, and we didn't have a car that worked well, well, well in the wet. We now understand why. We, we kind of understood towards the latter half of last year, but we weren't in a position to engineer our way out of it. We've had a winter to work on that. We've made some improvements to our thinking and our development in terms of the way the ch chassis works, uh, which will improve you know, the wet and its drivability and its consistency. And uh, we've got some improvements in the engine. And also we've got a year's worth of working understanding what these things, what they do, where they're weak, where they break, problems you can have. So if you had all that lot, that lot up, and also with the arrival of Sam, I think we're going to be in great, great shape. How does it feel to be part of the BTCC family now? Oh, it's a dream come true, really. You know, we've we've worked a long time at this. Uh, I spent four years on the Toka package, you know, racing the Clios and the Porsche. So, and it's something I always aspired to, to be one day and to and to reach that level in racing. And um, you know, my sponsors stayed loyal to me from the last year, and with being part of the Cakes Academy has enabled me to make the step up that I've wanted to do for a long time now and I couldn't find myself in a better place with, with the MG team and Triple and Jason as a teammate. So why did you choose the MG team to move into? Well I knew the team already, Triple Eight, um, obviously I raced, did a one-off race with them in Touring Cars previously uh, and I, I firmly believe it's the best team and the best package to be on, you know, we've got to take the fight to the Hondas. And with Jason as a teammate, I can learn so much from him. He's obviously <clears throat> he's won more touring car races than anybody else, uh, which which gives me the perfect platform to learn uh, and, and, and learn quickly. And you know the cars there is, is capable of winning races. We saw that last year in, in what was supposed to be its learning year. It still managed to win five races and, and nearly win the championship. Um, so all the ingredients are there for me to you know to take this opportunity with both hands and and, and make a success this year. Well, he doesn't know because he's not had me as a teammate yet. <laughs> He, he might, he might, he might reflect on that in, in months to come. But seriously, I mean, that's nice. It's nice to hear. You know, I, I throughout my career, I've never been in an environment. I've never demanded to be in an environment where I'm given preferential tr treatment. People which what, we, we, which what, watch this might think I'm ta talking out my ass, but I'm not. I've never had a number one slot status. That's there to be earned. And yes, there are times throughout your racing career where the team elevate and gel around you, but I've never had that contracted written in. And uh, you know, I run a, a very open, a very open book way of going around my motorsport. You know, I'll be trying to help Sam's performance in you know working together with his engineers. Uh, you know, he'll have access to my data, I'll have access to his. We'll share. We'll sh we'll try and you know for the benefit of the team, we'll share information and try and improve both our performances so I think it I think actually in, in months to come some of the myths which you know in this crazy world of motorsport which surround me and what people think I'm like will be dispelled and I think he'll 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 soon come to understand that actually uh, you know I'm a good bloke. Pardon?